Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Peter here. Now, we've had a request come in from one of our subscribers about um, doing an auger test or a soil test um, for moisture along the side of the leaky weirs and where we've got puddling and, and things like that. So as everyone would have known for those who are following us that we put in this leaky weir, geez, it's been a couple of years now, and, um, and then basically what we're finding is that this little well it's an old old creek bed basically that um wasn't flowing and now we're holding water and and the life and, and everything else is just absolutely insane down in this part of the um of the farm so what we'll do is um we'll have a look over um the auger and i've got that with me and we'll do some tests um on the high let's call it the top of the bank so to speak and we let's have a look and see where that moisture actually is um i've never done a test and it would be interesting uh, not only for myself but for everyone out there just to have a look and say right you know th these weirs actually do exactly what they're meant to be doing hold up water let it and slow it down and um and let it absorb you know laterally through the floodplain or through into the into the banks so you know that's we're not permanently stopping water um all the all the water keeps on flowing but we're just almost like we're renting it a little bit you know so um just slowing it down giving it time to actually absorb into the the landscape all right well let's um i'll turn this camera around we'll go find a spot and um and then we can go from there so i'll see you soon all right so here we are this is one of our little leaky weirs and as you can see, the the, um, the cows have come through and used this as uh, as one of their crossings, and um, sort of chewed it up a little bit. So, which is fine. You know what we're finding here is we've got a little bit more flow coming in over the top. We've got a, a large little pond here. As we keep on rolling up, we've got more water coming through. Yeah, and I can see that the, um, probably not so much the cows, but the, certainly the camels have been in here. I can see the, the hoof prints and um, they've been eating all that duckweed and, and things on top there. And then it just keeps on rolling and then, you know, we haven't got really anything here. Um, just a little bit of water still flowing through. And then we've got one of our larger um, sort of leaky weirs here that I've used as a, um, as a causeway. And then sort of coming up in behind, we've got some water. And that's pretty much about the lowest part of this particular creek. And you can see that the creek sort of meanders its way further up. Um, but what we'll do is we'll have a, a bit of a look at this auger. And we'll do one down here and we'll do one up where there's no water. And, um, and then we'll have a look at then compare the difference. All right, so I'll go find a spot and then um, we can go from there. I'll see you soon. All right, what I'll do is I'll, I'm gonna put a spot over there on the other side of this, this little creek here. But I'm, I'm not sure if you can actually pick this up, but there's quite a, a damp soil content running through there where the water's pretty much just pooling. And um, so it'll be interesting to see Basically where Mo is now, we'll, we'll put our hole in, we'll go about a metre back and, um, and then we'll see until we get sort of a, a, that rich, dark soil is really hoping what I'm expecting. And, um, and then we can sort of see what that's all about. All right, so I'll get the auger and, um, and we'll get it all sorted out. I'll see you soon. All right, so here's my test hole here. Um, and we're looking at, oh, I don't think you can see down the bottom. Probably about 450, 500, something of the sort like that. But this is the soil that um, that came out. And you know, it's holding together really, really well. Now, the only thing that I can see is that I was expecting the top part to be the worst. And then as we got deeper and deeper and deeper, it would get a lot darker with more moisture content but already you know with the soil that's come out let's have a look you know it's holding together 
quite well. So I'm thinking that, you know, we're, and I'll just pan up a bit. So there's one of our little, our little ponds. So we're about, I don't know, maybe about a meter and a half across and about halfway down to the waterline, I suppose you could call it. So, you know, looking at what is actually happening is that yes, the water is sort of making its way through and you can see this spot here. Um, you know, it's all a bit weird, but we've got a lot of clover coming through here. So obviously a damp spot. And then I've got another bank. The hill sort of ro rolls up over the top. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe at one time this was the height of this creek. Because um, you can see on the other side there, it just basically goes straight up. So this must have been what we're standing on now, was probably the original floodplain. And that there was the original, let's call it high watermark, I suppose, um, top of bank. But yeah, now we're sort of down at this point here and, and I'm really angry at myself that I never took any photos of what it was like previously because this was all just a dust bowl. Um, you know, it was just that really dry clay. And you can see, you know, I've got grass really coming through now on the bank. Um, I've got a little sort of leaky weir there. And then there's more of a rock sort of formation. That's just a natural one down the end there. But um, yeah, but this is the one that we'd certainly put in. And as you can see, the water's just flowing straight over the top of it now. That needs to be, because you know what happens is that things just rest and, and sort of compact on each other. So this really has to be built up again, up to this line here and across. So it's like another causeway. And, um, and then we can go from there. But look, I'm pretty stoked about that soil and you can see the, the color, it's quite dark. So, all right, well, let's, um, I'll fill this one in and we'll go find another spot further up. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, so I'm a little bit further up now and you can see um, over my left shoulder there that um, that's one that I've been working on, just dumping a heap of rock and stuff in there. And what you can see behind is all the, the grass, um, water reeds coming through. Now, what I've noticed is that those grasses that come through, I don't know what they're called, but I've got them in spots all over the farm. Um, and if I, basically, if I was to take those out, it's like um, a, a, an underground water system running through. So what I've decided to do is to leave those on the farm and just so I know where all the wet spots are. So these are all just coming through and the cows and the camels and goats, they don't eat them. And um, so they're just sort of doing their own thing. But what I've got, um, what I'll do is I'm just gonna sit, I've got a, a, a willow that gets absolutely flogged <laughs> by the camels behind me there. That they, they keeps it under control. Um, but what I'll do is I'm gonna sort of, again, just on my shoulder, I'm going to put a hole in down here and see where it's um, where it's at. So I'm going to turn the camera around and um, and I'll show you what we're looking at. All right. So basically, what we've got here is we're sort of downstream from um, all these rocks and logs and, and stuff in there, and you can see that it's the water has certainly slowed and all these grasses have come up. And I'm just looking further down and you can see a footprint there that's one of the camels and so they've come in here and have had, and I imagine they've just been looking at that what um at the um at the willow behind me um so it certainly is very very moist you know you can see that puddle from their footprint down there but as we come back up it's sort of getting a little bit more compacted um, we've got a lot more grass coming through and 
and then we go back into that sort of grass, um, wet grass area, and then we sort of go back to where we've come from. But what I'll do is I'll put the the auger in here somewhere, and um, and we'll have a look. So basically, what are we looking at? The bottom of the creek is probably about 500 mil, half a meter, to where we are here. So. Again, what we'll do is we'll I'll put a couple of twists in and, and see what the what the soil's like, and um, and again we should be really looking at the the top of the soil should be the driest, and um, and as we get deeper and deeper we got that more moisture, but as you can see and I've just spotted that then, if we have a look you can see the dark spots on the other side of the bank. And then that's certainly wet, and then it dries up as we get higher and higher. So that's like a side to um, side view of basically what I'm expecting. So the top section here is all going to be dry, and then we get down to this this moisture content. So it just shows you that really what we need to do is to bring these leaky weirs to the highest point. And you know, originally they were, or this one wasn't, but back where we've come from, they were at the highest point, so that the water at that point um, can actually seep laterally across and pick up, you know, that that first couple of inches, especially where all the grass and things grow. Um, if we leave them and leave the creeks sort of open and exposed, you know, I've got a. It's sort of hard to show you on the camera, but that's probably a little bit steeper on that side there so it's probably about 600 mil from the bottom of the of the little creek bed there to the top section here so you and you can see that this is dry because there's no moisture content nothing getting there whereas down below we've still got seepage coming through and what that may be actually is where we were at a high point with the water and the water seeping through this is now the water coming back out of the floodplain or out of the side of the banks which is probably more what's going on so that's where we've got puddles and things further downstream is that these sort of areas like that is where the water's coming back out of the ground um, and that just you know that's just goes up and down as the water drops the um, the water needs to find the lowest point and will find its way out of the ground and then back into the creek and um, and at least that way you've got moisture still back into the creek but you lose it off your, off your pasture so all right well let's get this hole dug all right so I'll see you soon all right so here we go we've got my hole and yep so it's not as moist I mean there's moisture in there but not as good as it was further down still quite clumbly so and very very loose so what am I looking at I'm looking at about 400 mil and I've got about another 200 mil something like that to get to the basically the the base of the creek but I mean geez for an area that hasn't had rain in such a long time it is pretty pretty impressive so you know I'll just try and so you can see where the grass is sort of sitting on top and then it sort of drops down into that sort of, and you can see that, that clay spot. So this is what the whole area was like. And um, all the way through, it was just like this dry dust bowl. And you know, we, uh, you know, typically I, le I let everything grow through here. Um, you can see thistles. I've got some blackberries over there. Um, but the goats come through and they clean it up and then next year the, we get less and less and less. So compared to really what we've got going on and I'm a bit inclined just to keep everything on the bank as much as I possibly can um, rather than just really giving it a big what for and just exposing all the soil again and just having grass. At least this way I've got growth and I've got protection. So cattle and, and things, you know, they are picking spots to run up and down but the cattle won't pick up spots to cross that creek where the um, blackberries are so I'm sort of just protecting it a little bit and um, 
but you know I, I should have come down in the middle of the night and just so that you could hear the noises down here because it's just insane um, it's really quite loud but there you go so you know here we are what was it probably about four or five weeks ago maybe six weeks ago now we got a good a good amount of rain well it's the only rain we had so I'll say it's good and um, but really apart from that you can see that the there is dampness in the creek um, but certainly not like the other area where we actually had quite a deep pond and the soil is still clumping so um, you know wow very very and dark and dark you know and that makes me you know I'm pretty happy we're actually on the right track all right so let me turn this camera around and I'll see you soon all right so there you go look you know here we are we've done our test and you know I'm still pretty impressed actually that we've got moisture we've got we can actually clump our soil together um, you know mind you though I didn't see any worms I didn't see any bugs so you know it's maybe just damp soil <laughs> but we're working on it and with more mulching and things like that especially across this these pastures um, we'll certainly get to where we need to be and um, and then we can go from there I'm just seeing guys can you see that over my, my shoulder looks like someone's looking down on us how cool all right so for all about doing a bit of an auger test and seeing what your um, your soils are like for your pastures from your leaky weirs in particular in the dry spots and what you know obviously what's happened over the over the year and still where we're quite wet like and subscribe and I'll see you soon